Thank you very much. I am Muedi Marai. Um, I am um, Human Resources and Legal Affairs Manager at Popular Bioscience. And I will do this short presentation with um, Mepule Mabula. She's our head of QA. Um, first of all, I would like to delve right into the, the opportunities the cannabis industry is offering to Lesotho and Basotho as a whole. Um, one of them, one obvious one is the creation of employment, which we know that uh, we can all bear testimony to the fact that there's dire need for employment for thousands of Basutu youth. And um, speaking on behalf of Bupula Bioscience, we have 84 permanent and just over 100 employees in, in total, temporary employees in total who have been trained and continue to get training in cannabis cultivation and regulation. Uh, this helps uh, improve the standard of living for the communities around our facility. Uh, we always uh, at Pillow Bioscience, we always stress that the success of a company is measured by the success of the community around it. That is um, one opportunity that cannabis industry affords our, 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 our Basutu and Lesotho. And one of them um, is training uh, with proper cannabis cultivation and processing and regula regulatory specific training at an international level. We believe that Basutu will have a chance to produce cannabis of the highest standards and become highly skilled growers and be on the same level with world-class cannabis growers. Uh, this will give them a chance to explore other parts of the world and, and represent our, our country. Claiming our sport or our place in the international cannabis space would benefit us economically because obviously we'll have um, master uh, growers on the international stage. Uh, Mepuling will, 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 will continue with uh, the barriers in the cannabis industry. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I will be uh, taking part of the barriers in the cannabis industry. I think most importantly, we need to mention the industrial barriers that we're facing. Um, this is with regards to import, the import and export process. Um, we believe that there should be clear guidelines on the import and export process. Lesotho is landlocked in South Africa. Therefore, we have to go through the South African customs regulations, which is a challenge as there aren't any clear procedures or guidelines for start startup companies to follow. Um, this is a, a plea to government to intervene and uh, assist in strengthening the, relation, the relations between the regulatory um, authorities. Um, and then, Secondly, it's regarding the telecommunications, um, which is uh, a major barrier, infrastructure. Part of the regulation of the cannabis is to prevent diversion. And that means, um, sorry, <clears throat> putting in electronic systems in place to facilitate the tracking of the cannabis from seed to sale. Um, the current telecom industry needs to boost up their service delivery as most of the tracking needs to be started on the cloud. And um, as a quick uh, short inquiry to the government as a whole, um, what I would like to find out what are the long-term plans with regards to our electrical needs. Um, I'm sure we're all aware that the South African entity ESCOM that supplies the city with about 20% of electricity during peak time is facing challenges with servicing its citizens. And yes, whilst the SUTU does pay for the service, are there any provisions in the pipeline in the event that um, ESCOM cannot service the SUTU? And then- Okay, tough questions. I was just saying to oh, my yeah. students today, maybe we should not be training them as pharmacists. We should be training them to generate electricity. So honestly, <laughs> honestly. May, 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 maybe you guys should not be, you should not be looking at medical cannabis. You should be looking at how is it that we can use cannabis to, to generate make electricity. electricity. Because that's honestly. the biggest opportunity there is right now. It <laughs> is. Yeah, Indeed, it yeah. is true that where there's barriers, that where we have barriers, there's uh, space for opportunities. And I think um, just to wrap up, yeah. we have cannabis specific uh, barriers. While this budding in, uh, industry is in dire need of cannabis specific education, um, if mm. one has industry specific skills, we're more likely to get in, into an entry level and be trained up. Um, 
national regulations such as JCP and GMP require compliant growth and therefore the personnel um, employed should have um, a basic understanding of these regulations mm. and basic skills in order to ensure efficiency and okay. um, compliance as, a lo as well as lo lo local legislation. And then I think lastly, I'd like to um, pose another question. Um, what <laughs> I'd hope that um, the the but oh miss miss no miss, we will miss, answer those miss. questions in due time don't worry okay okay yeah um mm. i think one last question would be what is the plan of action and the timelines with regards to getting a regulatory authority such as the world health organization or PICS involved in our country we are of the opinion that having such a regulation linked to manufacturing medicinal products will not only ensure compliant businesses, but also create further employment and um, importantly assist in the inception of accredited laboratories to service all, um, all our upcoming cannabis growths. Okay. Um, so the, yeah, so I think those you. are great. Yeah, those are great questions. But like I always say, sometimes people think that regulations are great, but in unregulated environments, sometimes it's better especially for startups. But um, these are things that we can discuss. I mean, here at, at Swane University of Technology, we are trying to put together a, a pilot plant. So some of these kind of skills you're talking about in terms of you know, GMP training, that's actually one of the things that, that we'll be looking at through that Afghan uh, partnership that uh, was alluded to earlier. Okay, so hopefully this is a network that we are building because that's what we do. We want to build, uh, to connect Africa in this pharma industry as it were. Right, okay, thank you.